Okay, so we've got a video on the One Series BMW. Um, so it originally came in to us because it had water on both sides um, and it also had water in the boot. Um, so we've checked all the rear. The rear seems to be fine. There's no signs of any water in the boot section, which is lovely, um, which it was collecting in here and it smells nice as well. So there's no signs of any water, which is good. Um, we have noticed that there is signs of water on the driver's footwell. Um, it looks like on our previous uh, videos, we resealed this door membrane. Um, we didn't do the others. Um, they were probably recommended, but possibly maybe we just done the one what was leaking at the time. Um, so if we pour water down the back of the window, simulating it's out in the rain. So we can see the water falling out and it's actually exiting through the drainage holes of the bottom of the door. Um, there's no visual signs of that door membrane leaking at all. Um, so that's good. So that fix obviously stood up. So the next one would be if we quickly go to the drivers. So we're just going to obviously put our lever bar down there to simulate that it's raining. We'll put the torch down here. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour a bit of water down the back again. Right, okay, so it's emptying out through the bottom of the door. But what makes me wonder is, there we go. So there we go, so we've got a dirt build up and we've got quite a heavy leak coming out the side. So it's possible it could be a clip or it could be the front door membrane as obviously um, letting water through again. Uh, the problem is that will then drip down. It will then sit on top of this rubber, sit in this rubber here and possibly work its way obviously behind this trim. And then what that would then end up with is as we can see down there, We've got condensation on this pedal here. Um, you can feel that it's a bit damp at down there. And we've got a little bit of mold spores as well. Nothing major. Um, so we have a door membrane, which needs to be inspected. Um, to inspect it, it may just be worth obviously fixing it. Um, if that was the case, we would obviously have to do two hours labor. That would be removing the door card, taking off all the old sealant, just like we've done on the rear door and then put the door back together, make sure it's not leaking, put all the clips back in, and then put the door card on. The only problem is, I don't know if we want to go and just do the one door panel. Um, I mean, normally we advise, if one door panel's leaking, uh, membrane, uh, we normally advise doing all four. The reason for that is quite simple. They're all the same age. They were made when the car was made. Um, so there we go. So we've worked out why the driver's front footwell's wet there. Um, so there we go. Okay, just a quick progress report. So we've removed the door cards now. Um, so as we can see, we can see the run mark down here. Um, and basically, you can see that it's come unstuck. Um, so it's quite normal. Um, just through the heat, obviously, it makes it go through. And we've got another gap here. Uh, coming around to the passenger side. So we've got these door cards off as well. It looks like this one is leaking, um, but very minor. So it'd be a case of obviously putting our sealant copper grease around there, but the membrane itself is okay on that one. Uh, then we've got passenger front. Passenger front looks okay. Feels okay as well. Can't feel any gaps underneath there. Um, so obviously what we're gonna do is we're gonna reseal them all because uh, we don't want it coming back with obviously wet footwells again. Uh, we've also got to get the seat out and get the carpet up so we can get the drying machine in there. Um, so that's the first video for that one there. 